Hello guys and welcome back to Star Ocean The Last Hope. Uh, last time we finished up the night before PAs and this time we're finally, finally going to be heading into Nox Obscurus, the final dungeon of this game. This place is huge to say the least. There are certain things about it that are kind of really interesting. You don't you don't want you want to avoid the uh, smoke plumes that you see coming out of the actual cracks in the ground and uh, yeah. And also there's the battles here. These dark soldiers we fought once before back on Roke, if you remember, did that phantom fight where it was a whole bunch of ambushes and all that stuff. Yeah, I kind of kept my bonus board from the past couple of parts ago, so... Yeah, it's this, still the same recording session. I, I just want to get this game o done and over with so we can actually go on to the next LP that I have planned that's actually really, really awesome, if I do, if I do say so myself. So, yeah. Uh, and you might think that since we're jumping down these cliffs that there this is the point of no return No, you can still get back to the Kalnus. Um If you go left, you'll see a couple of balls rising from a swamp And it, if you actually go and jump in one of those balls, they'll levitate you back up to the top And uh, yeah, that's basically the uh, gimmick of the first part of this place is just going Trying to get around all these obstacles and stuff but yeah, I did a little bit this. of uh, item creation, got me a whole bunch of healing items and all sorts of fun stuff. I think I'm actually strong enough, should be strong enough anyway, Please to complete this, um, this final dungeon all the way up until the final boss. I don't know if I'll be strong enough by the time I reach the final boss to actually go and beat him but we'll cross that bridge as soon as we come to it because the recommended level for beating the game uh the recommended level is actually like level 70 75 but i have beaten this game at level 60 so yeah and like i said a few parts ago the only reason why you would want to gain levels past this point is to get hp uh, boosts on all your characters to get more HP on them. It doesn't really add much to your attack or defense. But, eh. You know, more HP, more good stuff. Alright, let's see. But yeah, so since I'm pretty much good to go, we'll go ahead and go do this. Anyway, these are the spheres of doom I was talking about that would uh, lead you up to the Kalnus. There's a pool of whatever this liquid is over there. And where the crap are all the bubbles? Spheres of Doom. Yeah. It just takes you up and you just wait until it reaches a certain point and then jump off. And not really too terribly difficult. Uh, you do have to get the timing down a little bit because uh, if you don't you'll end up falling back down to the bottom and, and you have to wait for the bubbles all over again. They are a little time consuming. So, eh, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is basically going to be a bulk recording. I'm going to be going onward until uh, the end of this dungeon. It may take me... Uh, about an hour or so to get through this. I hope not. Um, and also with the enemy battles, there will be times where I will be cutting them out like I normally do. But the first few ones, since they're enemies that we haven't seen in either a while or they're brand new enemies, I'm just going to leave them in as well as talk over the battles like I have been doing. But, all right. Yeah, and I don't know why I'm going around collecting the chests or stuff. The The experience that they give with the chests at this point in the game is seriously a drop in the bucket. Because 
Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes, if if you want to, uh, the go. experience that you get from the harvest points and uh, all that stuff are distributed among all your party members. So if you wanted to try and make your backup team keep up with your first team, your regular team, or your primary team, then yeah, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, like I said, I can actually probably beat this boss at level 60. It, it'll be a little bit hard at level 60 with just the one team, but it is doable. I have done it before. So, um, and also I haven't done any synthesizing on my equipment yet. Um, I probably will for the uh, post post game dungeon since they are a little on the hard side. I was going to do some uh, synthesizing for this bef uh, for this dungeon, but I'm just like you know what? I don't care. I actually have some pretty decent equipment. Uh, not only that, I also have Miria on my team, which she can do amazing amounts of damage with her skills and also Aramat with his skills. Uh, the only thing, there's one more skill that I want to get with um, with Miracle and I'm actually not going to, okay. I'm just wondering. I hope I will be able to get this before get that skill before I get to the end of this place I don't know it is a skill that if you use can act, just like uh, bloodstorm revolution can actually break fights a lot so yeah and uh, well. wow Miria you are poisoned you need to get out of here and heal yourself uh, Miria, the only the only thing about Miria that I don't like is her HP is freakishly low, and when I say freakishly low, I mean, you know, she she has nine thousand HP, which you think about it, nine thousand HP for a Final Fantasy game or for a Tales game is actually a lot, but for this game, at this point in the game, is not. Not good, but anyway, I'm just going to use Aqua Berries because I don't really want to go into my skills and go try to wade through all the skills that I've gotten. Meh. Whatever. But yeah, this, if you ask me, Nox Obscurus actually, even though this place isn't alive per se, you know, it's we not by rhythm at all, it looks a lot like a living organism. If you actually look at the surface of uh, Nox Obscurus, and it it kind of acts that way as... I don't know. It, it's one of those things that you just look at it and like, oh, that is freakishly disgusting, man. But, yeah. I have no idea what liquid we're walking in or anything like that. Uh, there are a few things that I want to try and get from the mining spots in this in Nox Obscurus, but I don't know if I will be able to. So, hey, could I ask you a favor? Are you alright? Give this to Jessica in the Centropolis. We need to get get you some help. Forget it. It's weird, but I know it. It's just about just about my time. Please take care of that letter. Tell those half-wit operators too. And he died. Oh, which reminds me, there is. Um, hang on a sec. I forgot to turn in a quest back at remembered at the astral caves. I don't know if I'll be able be ever turning it in or not. Oh, this place. Dang it, I hate this place with the fiery burning passion of a thousand suns. And the reason why I don't like this place is because we once we enter this field, it puts si as long as we're in this field, it puts silence on 
all of our party members. So all of our skills are now unusable in this field. So I try not to get into a fight like this. That this is gonna take forever. You know what? Screw it, I am running. If I can, please allow me to run. I don't care about my damn bonus board. I'm getting out of there. I am not fighting you without any of my skills. I was planning on fighting him and then and cutting it out, but you know what? Screw it. I ain't gonna cut. <laughs> I'm just gonna run from him. Not quite ideal. All right, now time for revenge. Screw you. This is what you get for running into me while I'm silenced. Die. Yeah, Miria, you got beat up a lot, but you know what? Screw it. Death to you. Miria, heal yourself. Why will you not heal yourself? Wow. Miria? Why the devil are you not healing yourself? I have no idea. You are the healer of this party, so... Let's see. Yeah. All right, whatever. So yeah, that's basically this uh, little gimmick of this area is the try and go in and destroy the crystals before you get attacked and try and make it out alive. And if you guys want to get uh, ology drops, because there are some battle trophies that you can get only by get doing ology drops, you know, like the... Then you could get Bacchus in your party and fight these Cardian on uh, copycats and do it that way. Because we, we haven't this. faced any mechanical things since Cardian on, and this is the only other place where, where you'll be able to fight uh, robot stuff. Yeah, I know. Bacchus gets kind of screwed out of that department, but eh. As of right now, I'm not too worried. I'm just more worried about getting these crystals out of the way. Which, they do give you a nice bit of experience, and if you guys want to, for some odd reason, I don't know why you would want to do this, but you can actually go back to the Calnus and come back here, and all the crystals will respawn again. That way you can come back and go through and disable all the crystals yet again and gain experience that way. Here we go. If you don't want to fight people. 2,000 experience uh, pop for crystals ain't that bad in this game. Especially if you have a whole bunch of disintegration stones and you go around and disable any or all of the crystals that you want. Sometimes they're kind of a little difficult to get to. Eh, whatever. Let's see, where am I? I need to head directly north of here. Yeah, this place is basically built like a maze. Uh, hopefully, I can get out of here without so much as... Wow! Hello, peoples. Or robots. Things. Uh, get away from me. Get. I'm trying to do this. So, I can go ahead and... Now, I can fight you. That way I could get bunch, a whole bunch of ambush and experience. Yay! Oh, yay! I'm still ripping through them like none other. Good gracious me. All right. Let's see. Ah, I'm almost out of here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. I don't want to be in this area too much longer, please. Um, crap. Fine. You know what? Screw you. I think these gems actually use the thunder ring. I could be wrong in order to get them out to destroy them, which we haven't used the thunder ring since Cardian on, which is actually pretty darn cool. Like, yay! Go thunder ring of death. 
I wish they actually... They could have done a lot more stuff with uh, the Thunder... Or with the rings than they actually did in this game. They don't use them all too often. Uh, with the exception of one dungeon that I know about. And it's a post-game dungeon. And in order to actually get through that... It's called the Wandering Cave. If any of you have actually heard about it. I have never ever completed it, uh, let alone entered it, uh, because of a few things in that dungeon that I don't really care about, and so, yeah, I ain't going to go do it. I don't think we're getting any further! I can't even hear you! It's no good, we have to go back! The whirlwind is only having an effect here at this point. I surmise that our destination, the core, lies beyond it. So what, force our way through? That's crazy! It's also our only choice. Hey, everyone! Check this out! It smells a little different over here. Smells different? I don't know how, but... I think I will if we get closer. Let's see! This way! Of course, you guys don't ever look off to your right-hand side, because of this little crevasse. But yeah, with the, uh, with that wandering dungeon, meh, I'm kind of debating whether or not to do it. But yeah, in order to actually get through that dungeon, you will have to get all of the rings in the entire game. That means the earth ring from, uh, earth, which you can accidentally overlook if you're not too careful about it. Anyway, more cutscenes of doom! Edge! Is it this? Yeah, it's from his ship. It must have happened when he got rid of that dragon. A section of the ship must have broken off and fallen to the surface. It would seem that Mr. Crow has cleared a path for us, so we can proceed. He has come to our aid, not once, but twice. He always was a meddlesome do-gooder. I believe the odor that Miss Miracle perceived earlier must be issuing from the space ahead of us. you were able to find such a faint scent in a place with so much wind. You're amazing, Mary. <laughs> My nose is well trained. Oh dear, I suppose I'll never be able to escape you, will I? <laughs> Thank you, Miracle. Now we can walk the path Crow left for us. So, this is where our travels come to an end. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'd just say it's a turning point. I'm going to find happiness. I've no intention of letting my travels end in a place like this. Yeah, this is where it begins. Without being bewitched by false evolution, without warping anyone's history. We're all going to travel forward, one step at a time, into a proper and rightful universe. Yes. Yes, you're right. It's only just begun. After all, I've already decided. 
I want to walk together with you, Edge, in a universe where everyone can be happy. Alright, before we actually go forward, which is where we need to go, for some odd reason it likes that cutscene drops us off right there when there's stuff that needs to be done back here. Yeah, screw you, game and your freaking cutscenes of happiness and doom and destruction. Grr. Crow must have come through such an awful battle. Look at how bang banged up it is. He really thought he was hot stuff right to the very end. Edge. No matter what obstacles Crow ran into, he'd always dance right through, then with a, through them with a smile on his face. He was unkillable, immortal. Why here, at the very end, that, that idiot. Such a stupid, stupid idiot. Edge. We can't stop here. He carved us this path for us. Our final path. Yeah. And this is where the final uh, floral funeral bouquet sequence comes in. Yeah. Please, Crow, watch over us. Crow, I'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done, but I can't do it yet. I don't want to say thanks yet. First, I'm going to put an end to this for you, for all of us. Then I'll be able to thank you. So, Crow, yeah, let's do this. So yeah, that's where the eighth and final funeral bouquet sequence is, if you guys were wondering what that e extra funeral bouquet was for. Yay. Alright. If you guys want, you can save. Um, I probably am not. Because I've been actually doing a lot of killing in this part. I've been ripping people to shreds. 